Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is Tuesday, October 25th, and the market is up 1.34%. And the whole past week has been pretty good for the stock market. My own portfolio during that past week is up almost 3%, and today it is up 1.45%. Now, somebody asked me recently why I focus so much on dividends, considering I'm a younger investor. And my main goal here, my strategy, is to have a great, well-rounded portfolio that can excel in any market condition and ideally gives me similar returns to the overall market while at the same time having a much higher dividend yield. And today is actually a great example of that. So as we saw, my portfolio is up nearly a percent and a half and the S&P 500 is up 1.37%. So I'm actually doing a little bit better while my portfolio has a 5.6% dividend yield. Now I am always trying to optimize my portfolio while changing it as little as possible. And in M1 Finance, I love how you can create these virtual portfolios that allow you to test out different ideas. And recently I've been experimenting with trying to find an extremely well-rounded, good performing, growth ETF. And I prefer having a setup like this where half of it is a passive index ETF in a certain category and the other half is still in that category but it's a completely different approach. And my logic here is that the drawbacks of each strategy is minimized and they kind of cover for each other and combined it's a solid investment. And when it comes to ETFs, Vanguard makes some of the best in the business, both in terms of performance and expenses. They are extremely cheap, passive, and just solid investments. One of my current favorite growth ETFs from Vanguard is ticker Vong. This is the Russell 1000 growth ETF. And the reason why I prefer this over VUG is because this has more names in it and more smaller mid cap companies. Now, does that make a difference? Well, if you put them side by side and zoom out over the past five years, not really, but just mentally knowing that Vong has more mid cap companies in it makes me feel better. And by the way, I do want to say that long term over five years, as we can see in this view, both these funds do outperform the S&P 500. And that is a huge accomplishment in and of itself and proves that Vanguard knows how to make ETFs. But there's actually another growth ETF that Vanguard makes that's better than even these ETFs. And that is VGT, Information Technology. Now, of course, in 2022, this has been getting absolutely slammed. If you go year to date, it's down 28%. But taking a look at the full history, not just this part of the graph, going back to 2019, the performance has consistently been extremely positive. And the funny thing is, unlike Vong and VUG over here, this actually isn't a dedicated growth ETF. VGT is actually considered a sector specific ETF. And here's a list of all of the other sector ETFs they offer. For example, VCR is consumer discretionary ETF, VDC, consumer staples, and so on. So VGT is simply the Vanguard Information Technology index fund. And if we stack VGT against Vong, a generic growth ETF, we can see the exact differences here. So there is a lot of overlap, but we can see here that VGT relative to Vong, a growth ETF, has a lot more tech names. I mean, Vong has a lot of exposure to Costco, Pepsi, Home Depot, and with VGT, you're not gonna see names like that. Now this ETF is another sector specific one and it's for the energy sector. And over the past one year, it has crushed VGT up 46% while VGT is down almost 23%. But even with this terrible past year, VGT still significantly outperforms even this fund. And another fun comparison we can do here is with BST. This is a science and technology growth fund. And here they do follow a very similar trend. There's a lot of overlap, but even so, VGT, the passive sector specific ETF, still has both better performance long-term and the entire history of this ETF in comparison just has a stronger trend. It's more predictable versus all this volatility where it really depends where you buy in. So to me, VGT is one of the best consistently good performing ETFs that Vanguard makes. And I begin to think that right now with this pullback, this could be a great time to initiate a position. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you're still watching, enjoyed, I appreciate a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.